Why, why is this all so destroyed here? Why, why is there nothing? This is Roger Cohen in Derna, Libya. I traveled to this rundown town in liberated eastern Libya in the immediate aftermath of the killing of Osama bin Laden. Derna was known as the center of fanatical Islamism here in Libya. Dozens of fighters went from here to Iraq. But the reaction I found today to Osama bin Laden's death was a non-reaction. Osama bin Just Laden was killed today. There doesn't seem to be any reaction in the streets. Well, Osama bin Laden, we, we, we have no, you know, what if, what, no link with Osama bin Laden. Osama bin Laden is the leader of Al-Qaeda. We have no Qaeda. He's an original person. He died. Well, everybody dies. So why should be sorry for his death or whatever? The presence of radicals here, extremists, uh, Salafists, jihadists, was attributed to the force of bin Laden's ideology. But maybe, in fact, the explanation was simpler. This place is a wreck. It's a disgrace. For decades, Gaddafi, because of a grudge against Derna, simply decided not to invest here at all. So no jobs, no investment, no new buildings, no, no new roads. No new roads, yeah. no investment, no, uh, you know, you see most of the people here are un unemployed. Mm -hmm. So uh, the young can find any jobs, they have nowhere to go, no recreation centers, no whatever. Everything is neglected. Put together that underinvestment, no jobs, no nothing, with young men sitting around here seeing things like Abu Ghraib going on in Iraq. And perhaps, in my view at least, you have a better explanation of why people left from here to go there. There's a dawning new pride here in Derna. You see the tricolor flag of the liberated part of eastern Libya. And people are talking about turning this coastal town into a resort. They're dreaming of new opportunities. Now I think we're seeing the dawning of a new source of Arab pride. Some tried to find that pride in anti-Westernism before. Now Arabs are focused on themselves. They're not focused on what's going on outside, be it in Afghanistan or in Iraq. They're focused on trying to get representative government, transparency, an end to the kind of totally arbitrary rule that reduces a place like Derna to a complete wasteland where extremism tends to thrive.